Okay, g'day everyone. Got another video for you here. In this one, we're gonna look at how to process a salary sacrifice arrangement in Zero. So we'll go to payroll, pay employees. Now, before you do this, you're going to have to set up the arrangement or the agreement rather with your employee um, and document this and then, um, then you can move forward and um, go ahead and set it up. So, I've got a draft pay run here. We're gonna have a look at that. All right, we're gonna have a look at Oliver Gray. Now, let's just say that Oliver is looking to boost his super because he is uh, he's reluctant to pay more tax on his income and he likes the low 15% tax on the super. And of course, he wants to look after his future, which is a very good thing. So if we look at this, we've got ordinary hours here, 76, that's 38 a week. So we're doing a fortnightly run here, $30 an hour. Um, the first scenario we'll look at is if Oliver, Oliver was going to set up, uh, say, a regular $100 per fortnight salary sacrifice. So the way that works is, if Oliver is sacrificing $100 a fortnight into his super, I think it's a he, um, that will, so we've got the 2280 here, that's his gross earnings. The $100 will reduce his pre-tax income down to 2180. So he's only paying tax on 2180 rather than 2280. So there's no tax on that $100 sacrifice, no income tax. So to do that up, we go down here. So his normal super, he's getting $205, 9%. That should actually be 9.5 or 10% if we're after the 1st of July. It's not the 1st of July yet, so I'll make it 9.5. We're in the demo file here, guys, as always. So this was obviously set up quite a while ago. All right, so we're gonna go add superannuation line. The fund, everything stays the same. Contribution type, we're not doing a superannuation guarantee contribution. Your SGC, that's your regular 9.5%. We're gonna go pre-tax voluntary contribution, RESC. Um, and we're gonna go fixed amount. So you can see here, this line has come up. Everything is the same, except it says salary sacrifice. So now if we put in the $100, tab out of that, you'll see the super's gone up to 316. And I'll just undo that so we can look at the change on the net payment. So before the salary sacrifice, the net payment is 17.68 with $408 tax, sorry, 1832. It's taken a while for the system to update. 1832 net pay, $408 tax. Just remember that figure, 1832. So we put in the 100. So the net pay has gone down to 1768. And the tax has gone down to 372. So because Oliver is putting $100 into super, his tax in this case has gone down by, what is that? 28, 36 dollars from 408 to 372. So it's reduced his tax payable. And this could be a weekly 
or fortnightly thing because he's on the fortnightly payroll, you can set this up to go week in, week out, all year. As long as he doesn't go over the $25,000 limit that is in place at the moment, um, there are some carry forward measures in there that you can be used to uh, carry forward unused portions, but generally it's 25,000. As long as you don't go over the 25,000 super contribution limit, this is all good. So we'll look at another scenario. We'll get rid of that. Okay, so let's say you've offered Oliver some overtime. And he said, oh yeah, boss, I really want to work more for you. I want to make the money, but I don't want to pay the tax. Fair enough, mate. So we're going to go here. And let's say he's doing some overtime. So overtime hours generally doesn't have super, the SGC. So he's on 45 time and a half. So let's say you did 10 hours overtime in this fortnight. An extra 450. His tax has gone up to 564. But because he doesn't want to pay the extra tax, or maybe even this overtime has bumped him up into another bracket. So he just wants to stash this money away into his super so we can have a nice, comfortable retirement later on. So this $450, he doesn't need the money right now. He's got it in overtime. If we left like this, he's paying more tax than he otherwise would be. And he says he wants to salary sacrifice the overtime. So pre-tax voluntary contribution, fixed amount. And we're gonna salary sacrifice that full 450. So now he's got, you'll see the net pay has gone back down to 1832, where it was to begin with. His tax has stayed at 408, no change there. But he's been paid $450 extra. And he's not paying a cent more tax. It's all going straight into super. You'll have to pay 15% on the front end when it goes in. But apart from that, there's no income tax, which is a very good deal. So then you would just save this and post the pay run as normal. So that's pretty much it guys. This is just a really quick video just to show you a couple of quick scenarios of how to deal with salary sacrificing super. It uh, really is one of the best ways you can save tax. The only trade off being is that you can't get your mitts on it until you retire. But if you're happy to lock it up, and have an earning for you, earning a good return in a low tax environment, which will compound over years, it will make a big difference to your retirement funds, then salary sacrificing into super is a, an excellent thing to do. And if your employer doesn't offer salary sacrificing, not all employers do, you can always do a personal contribution, which at the end of the day, it has the same effect. Except if you're paying from after-tax earnings then, money, your own money out of your own bank, but you're claiming a tax deduction on your tax return. You still can't go over that $25,000 limit, but it gives you more or less the same effect at the end of the day, and it's going to give you a massive boost in retirement and give you those big, big fat tax deductions that you want, so you're, you'll you essentially get it back when you lodge your tax return, any tax that you might have paid. All right, guys, that's it. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you want to organize a training session, we can offer tailored training sessions on whatever it might be, whatever you need to do, tailored to your circumstance. So uh, hit us up and um, we'll see what we can do for you. Okay, thanks, guys, and catch you later.